In other news, fugitive businessman Mehul Choksi is missing, according to the Royal Police Force of Antigua. He was last seen on Sunday driving in the southern area of the Caribbean island. Choksi is wanted in the Punjab National Bank loan fraud case. He and his nephew Nirav Modi allegedly siphoned off 13,500 crore rupees of public money from the state-run bank. Antiguan police began a search operation for Choksi on Sunday. They recovered his car from the southern part of the island, but Choksi could not be found. India's Central Bureau of Investigation is verifying these reports through multiple channels. They have reached out to the Interpol that has issued a red corner notice against Mehul Choksi. His lawyer Vijay Agarwal confirmed to Beyond that Choksi was indeed missing since Sunday. He has dismissed speculation that his client had fled to a neighboring country. This comes after multiple reports that Choksi had arrived in Cuba after fleeing Antigua. His lawyer believes that Choksi is missing but still in the Caribbean island. Let's tell you a little bit about the background of this case now. Back in 2017, Choksi secured citizenship in Antigua and Barbuda using an investment program. Then in January of 2018, he fled to the Caribbean. This was before the scam was exposed in India. Choksi's accomplice, Nirav Modi, is currently in a prison in London. He's battling extradition to India but has been repeatedly denied bail by British courts. Here's something to think about. Can music help people who are unwell and recuperating? A hospital in Australia has now introduced music therapy as a part of the healing process and many patients say that this has done wonders for them. Take a look. The didgeridoo is a traditional Aboriginal musical instrument developed in Australia nearly 1500 years ago. It is now used in music the world over. People find the deep sonorous sound of a didgeridoo very soothing. And a hospital in Canberra is now using the didgeridoo to help people recover faster. 14-year-old Cooper has been in the hospital for a few weeks after a car accident. He has a broken leg and pelvis and the hospital has recommended the didgeridoo therapy for him. It took a long time actually, nearly a month before he, he got a smile going again and it's just good every, every time you see that. Tina Bracker, the doctor behind this initiative, believes having some soothing music in the hospital makes patients relax and helps them feel more at home. Being in the hospital can be stressful for many people, so music can act as a welcome distraction. It can change a patient's negative mental state into a positive one. The calm and the gentle playing of the didgeridoo when we were walking past really sick people and very anxious families uh, was soothing for those families. The sound of the machines and the people in the hospital um, make us feel a little bit um, on edge, can create stress and actually um, slow down the recovery process. But didgeridoo might not be everyone's cup of tea. For some people, classical music will help them recuperate better. While for others, it could be pop or even rap. But whatever the genre, music which soothes you and takes your mind off your illness will help you heal better. Bureau Report We On World Is One. We On World Is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.